Hi, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at Christmas decor. So I'm focusing on a couple of categories and then I'm going to deep dive into ornaments. So if you sell on platforms such as eBay, Poshmark, or Mercari, you're in the right place. I researched eBay for solds at $20, $30, and $50 in these categories. And we're going to learn together to figure out which ones are worth selling. So we're going to start with village pieces. I found that Department 56, Anesco, and Hawthorne Village had the most solds in this category for over $30. Current solds were $33, $48, and $39. Department 56 definitely had the most solds out of the entire category of villages. For Anesco, the It's a Wonderful Life movie theme was selling overall. So this one happens to be the Bedford Falls Bridge. The Hawthorne Village is from Thomas Kincaid and there are several different designs that are selling for good money, but this is a lower one. This one sold for 39. We also have Lamax, Owl, and St. Nicholas Square. Lamax has a very whimsical style and this one sold for $45. Then we have another sold for 38 and $30. For Owl, the Heartland Valley Village is the collection that you're looking for. It's like you can see here just very, very faintly. All right, now we have snow globes. So I only found a couple of brands that sold and they didn't sell for a lot. I did look at a lower price point of $20 just because I couldn't find a whole lot of them. Most of the snow globes that sold were music box ones. So we have Kirkland, Mackenzie Childs, and Falsgraf. Current solds were $33 and $50. So Kirkland is from Costco and so this is a vintage snow globe for Mackenzie Childs. There weren't a whole lot of solds but I did notice a couple of the no mushroom snow globe selling. For false graph I recommend that you definitely look at the comps before deciding to purchase this at a thrift store or anywhere. They aren't all going to sell but this one sold for $50. It's another music box snow globe. So just be aware that there are a lot of these out there and so for false graph you need to be careful. Christmas stockings. So it was interesting to find that Land's End, Pottery Barn um, were top sellers in this category. We have current solds of $30 and $59. And then I noticed in general that the vintage stockings were selling too. This one sold for $30. It's a needlepoint Christmas stocking of Santa Claus and Rudolph. And it does have a lining inside. So Pottery Barn Kids specifically is the line from Potty Run that has the stockings and that one sold for $59 plus shipping. And for Land's End, most of them were needlepoint style. All right, the lighted ceramic Christmas trees. So I learned uh, the history of these. So it turns out that these are craft projects that were done at ceramic studios back in the 60s and 70s and up to the 80s. Companies like Atlantic Mold and a few others would make a patented shaped Christmas tree so it didn't have any glaze on it. They would send them out in the masses to different ceramic studios and the ceramic studios would have classes where people would come in and start doing the glaze on the Christmas trees and then add all the little light bulbs and they have a lighted base. So you can see here that this one on the left, this first tree I have from Atlantic Mold, has a little flower bulb and a little bird bulb, but most of them have the regular little light bulbs on the tips. And the bases can vary, and this one's pretty old, you can tell from the cord. Some of these trees are gonna have a date printed on them. That does not necessarily mean that's when they were actually produced. Copyright is what the year is for. You might also find a model number. You can use that to look up when that specific Christmas tree was manufactured and what time range to figure out if it's vintage. So some other companies that distributed their molds were Dogwood Ceramic Supply, Arnold's, and the Holland Company. So be on the lookout for those companies as well. Next up we have blow molds. So I'm in a bunch of different eBay and reseller groups and these are a hot ticket item that people like to show off when they do find them because they're hard to find. So we have Empire, we have TPI, and General Foam Plastics. Current sales were $140, $72, and $60. All right, next we have tree pins. I came upon this category within the holiday section and started looking into it and realized that there were actually a bunch of brands that sell for at least $20, if not more, for Christmas tree pin. So we have Weiss, JJ Jeanette, and Eisenberg Ice. Current solds were $50, $22, and $40. 
So I was surprised to find that Avon has a couple of pins that are popular. So this one's a third annual 2006 rhinestone Christmas tree. Just keep in mind that none of these are actually real gold or real jewels. These are all costume jewelry pieces that are selling for over 20, which is really interesting. So this Avon pin went for $37. Then we have Hollycraft. This one sold for 35. And then we have Estate Jewelry. So Estate Jewelry is not a brand. Estate Jewelry is just technically jewelry that was owned by someone else. So pretty much pre-owned is what Estate Jewelry is. So there are a lot of pieces out there that are decorative and ornate and beautiful and they're still selling even though they don't have a company brand then we have inflatables we just have one company that actually produces most of these inflatables they're called jemmy so they make all kinds of holiday decor current sales were 65 130 and 140 dollars and they have a ton of like really complicated inflatables but i just chose a couple of basic ones just so you get an idea of what the lower end would be they can go up to the 200s and 300s depending on what you're finding um, and these are all used these are not brand new in box there are plenty of them brand new in box but people are still buying them used just not at the same volume take a look at the ornament section and I've selected over $20 I've said open box and used. just for solds there are 1400 Christmas ornaments and there are 11,000 Christmas ornaments listed for over $20 online one thing I did notice, so I, the reason I'm doing this freestyle is that when I went through, I was going crazy because I would see stuff like this. There are several items in this category for ornaments that don't belong. Ornaments should be things like this that can be hung up. So you're going to see as we go through this list that there are items that shouldn't be there. That means that out of 11,000 listings, even less than 1,400 were selling on eBay. So for material, we have glass as the most and I understand that glass is usually what the vintage ornaments are made of. And then for brands, let's just take a quick peek. So we have Christopher Radko, we have Hallmark, we have Kurt Adler, and we have Pottery Barn. Those are the ones showing up as the most solds right now. I've never heard of Christopher Radko, so I'm going to choose that one first and see what shows up. A lot of these are blown glass. Oh, and then we have this like iridescent pattern to it and a lot of detail these are frosted there's like a lot of color there another teddy bear one we have a nutcracker and we have a, another blown glass this one's a penguin and that one went for wow the penguin went for $90 on one bid we have the Grinch here so we're seeing a lot of blown glass and notice we're seeing mercury glass as a detail in the title. I looked up what mercury glass. So mercury glass is a type of glass that's blown with a layer of silver nitrate in between the layers of glass. And so it gives it this dulled color. Let's take a look at frontage since that's next on the list. There's not a whole lot of soles. So we're looking at more mercury glass here. These are all decorated. They have some glitter. They have some painting on there. Okay. And then I'm noticing that a lot of these, oh, oh, you know what? All of these are sets. So for frontage, the only ones that are selling are the sets. Okay, let's take a look at another one. So Hallmark, everyone knows Hallmark. We have Wizard of Oz, the soldiers from Wizard of Oz. We have Star Trek here. We have a bird, another bird. And we have, oh, Nightmare Before Christmas set. That's popular. Then we have some Halloween ornaments in here, Star Trek again, and we have the Peanuts Gang Halloween set. We have uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. We have Snoopy. I'm noticing a couple of these Fisher Price style ornaments. So I saw that one. I'm seeing the little xylophone thing. I saw one up here. Yep, I know. So here's another one. So the zookeeper. A bunch of these CNSA ornaments. So those are selling. We have Wonder Woman. We have another Peanuts Gang Halloween ornament set. So I'm noticing the Peanuts Gang is showing up multiple times. And also the Wizard of Oz keepsake is the soldier. It keeps showing up. Okay, so for Hallmark, you've seen a pattern. I'm also noticing these Pull My Tongue ornaments. <laughs> I've seen a couple of these. The little pumpkin heads and the cat heads. Here they are. Pull My Tongue ornaments. That's so cute. So these are also selling in little pairs. 
All right, so now we have Kurt Adler, and we're having the same issue we had before, which is we're seeing things that don't belong in the ornament section that are being listed in that section. Oh, we have some nutcrackers. So there's a set of Kurt Adler wooden nutcrackers. We have My Little Pony. I didn't know he made those. We have another set of nutcracker sweet characters. We have Superman has a blown glass, teapot blown glass, and that is about it. So Kurt Adler is, there's actually not as many as we thought there was. I would only look for maybe the Nutcracker ones. All right, we have Pottery Barn. So let's see if there's any kind of pattern here with Pottery Barn sales. Let's see, we have another set of Mercury Glass, another set of Mercury Glass. So these, oh, okay, so you know what? These match this one. This is probably a replacement. Um, Finial Christmas Ornament. We have Mercury Glass characters here sold for $80 we have another one here this is by itself two turtle doves more mercury glass sets here oh this is so cute I love ugly sweaters this is adorable so that sold for $30 for three we have some glass ornaments here and more mercury glass all right so for pottery barn I, it's pretty obvious now that mercury glass is what people are looking for Waterford all right, so we have some sets of teardrop dangle ornaments in box. We have some heirloom paisley detailed ones here. We have some crystal because that's what they're known for. So this is a two turtle doves 1985. We have the Celtic symbol. We have a cross. We have another set of those teardrop ornaments. We have Times Square replica, more, more blown glass, more mercury glass. And then some a glass deer, and another glass cross. Okay, I'm gonna go to unbranded and not specified. You see how many are sold in those categories? Okay, so let's take a look at those and see if there's any kind of pattern. There we go. We have some Pokemon. So again, I told you that there's some niches within the ornaments that are selling where they're pop culture. So this one says sterling silver, so that makes sense why that would go for more. I saw this name before. I don't know how it's pronounced. I'm going to say cloison. Um, it says gold plated enamel. So it's a detailed decorative teddy bear ornament. We have a hand blown glass angel. We have Kringle Express indoor outdoor 13 inch lit ornament. So something, let me see if this actually lights up. They're going to show it to us like that. Ah, so it has a battery pack. We have illuminated beach Santa scene. That one's really pretty. Fifty-two dollars. Wow. Okay, we have Brayer. I'm sure you might have heard of Brayer horses, the toy horses. So these are ornaments based on that toy company. Hand painted Greenwich Village. This one's a blown glass for Minnie Mouse. See, one thing I'm noticing is that I haven't seen a lot of Disney like individual characters in plastic being sold at all. I'm sure they're listed all over the place, but for sold, it's the blown glass that people care about. Then we have a cute drum set. This one's got velvet felt. Okay, let's keep hunting. Ooh, we have gingerbread. So these are handmade knitted. We have Queen Elizabeth. She just passed not that long ago, so I can see that going for more. Here's another one of those cloison enamel ornaments. This is highly detailed. So if you see something this ornate and this well-crafted, probably worth picking up. Check Google Lens, check eBay first to see if you find anything similar. Oh, so this is like the third or fourth time I've seen this. This is a, a church one and there's some other ones that are similar. I'm gonna take a look at this to see what, what's up. This is by Valerie. Okay, so, oh my god, that's so pretty. So it actually lights up inside. So it's like that other one, the Kringle one. Look at that. So it's got a battery pack in the back. It's got all that detail. This sold for 50 bucks. That's a lot for one ornament. Okay, let's keep looking. Oh, we have some hand-blown mercury glass acorns. Only two of them. Sold for 34 plus shipping. Okay, we have another one of those illuminated ornaments. Let's take a look. It's really nice. 
Valerie Parr Hill is the brand. I'm pretty sure they said QVC on one of these listings. So this is a QVC product that was sold. Valerie Parr Hill is the name of the designer. These are gorgeous. So they sell for a lot. So be on the lookout. This is definitely a bolo. Okay, we have some cut work ceramic ornaments. I don't see a lot of those. So, oh boy. We have a sexy Wicca witch ornament. She's flying on a broom. It looks like a gun. It looks like she's holding a gun. She's flying on a broom. We have 10 Critter Sitter Christmas ornaments. Those look like they might be fabric. Oh, they are. They're so fuzzy. Oh, those are cute. I would take those in a heartbeat. They sold for $25. Yeah, those are all like felted material on plastic, I think. But they're very, very cute. Some of these are actually fabric. What is the pattern to these ornaments? Because there's so many and they're just so different. It's hard to say. Sorel spun glass angel ornament. That is very intricate and very delicate. That's definitely valuable. Oh, we have some wood animal ornaments. Those are different. Oh, we have a target. So we have a target <laughs> fabric ornament. Very cute bird. Sold for $35, no, $39. It's not even that old. Oh, this is so cute. This is Hobby Lobby Christmas Candyland Sweets and Treats Gingerbread Family. That is so adorable. And that one sold for what? $35? Okay. Oh, we have a hand painted ornament here. That's beautiful with flowers. I think we've seen enough. So to sum up, mercury glass and glass ornaments are the most popular type of ornaments. We also have fabric ones, ceramic ones, but those are more rare. And we're seeing that a couple of brands stand out. We have Christopher Radko, Frontage, if you have the whole set, Hallmark. But then Pottery Barn was definitely the mercury glass ornaments as well. So I hope this helped you because it definitely helped me. Now I know what to look for. And I would like to know if you had any luck with certain types of ornaments. You can leave me a comment. Please like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.